Yeah, hi YouTube, it's Michael. One of you suggested that I'd uh, explain my workshop in a little more detail. And since I didn't do that, I'll do it now. I hope this will fit into 10 minutes of video. Well, I keep keep an eye on this, right? Because my new camera at, at least shows me how much video time is gone. So, of course, the first thing you always need... Well, the point of this video is just about explaining you what things you would need to get started with electronics. I mean, I've put a lot of money in this, so I guess not every beginner will have just as much, but um, gives you a starter what you need. Um, you need a PC, of course, for example, and this is a good one, uh, you need to make layouts like this, so you make PCBs, circuits and stuff, so you need a PCB. Uh, half a decent machine, and a software, that is. So, I have a lot more of, of, of stuff. I have this, this, this lamp, which the magnifier lamp, so but well point is you need a good lighting right if you work on this place you need a good lighting and here I have these four millimeter Hirschmann uh, laboratory cables which can be used for example to to connect uh, to a power supply or whatever this is this four millimeter lab program um, one thing is I have a I have very little room very little space so I have to stack everything very quite uh, tightly together well this is the, it is nice I, I admit it but well I just don't have the, the room so I need to do it like that um, I have a lot of chemicals um, you need a lot of chemicals to do to, to be PCBs and stuff right um, this is a peelable um, stopping agent for example this is um, hydrogen peroxide um, this is hydrochloric acid. Um, I have glue, two component glue. Uh, this is also a nitrogen, a nitrogen uh, persulfide um, peroxide. Sorry. Uh, I have a lot of these contact uh, sprays, a lot of them. I may show it in more detail later. This is soldering wire. A lot of soldering wire. I, I have a lot of this stuff, you know. And this is a desoldering, uh, well, wire, so to speak. And this is what coated wire, right? Copper wire, coated copper wire. And yeah, let's just I just explain what I've got here. Um, this is an uh, AVR JTAG ICE MK2. It's used for programming and debugging AVR circuits. And this is an SDK 500 with an SDK 502, I think, expansion board. Yeah, it's also used to program and evaluate AVR MCUs. Here I've got this signal generator, which I assembled, um, sold it and assembled myself. It was quite some work. Um, this is an ELV, this is ELV in Germany, so they do this and, um, well, I used that one. This was my first power supply, which, well, works, but um, the display is gone and the one I've mounted is gone too. Great, because it's both from Conrad and I guess that's um, just about how much it's worth. And this is my soldering station, a very good one. It, it, it really rocks, it's very expensive, so... I don't think you need just like something like that. And this is my scope, which is a Tektronix scope, and it's also a good one. It was very expensive, and uh, it's a digital storage uh, uh, storage scope. Well, the bandwidth could be a little higher, but well, at the time, you know how it is. And those are um, I use these things to um, clean my solder tip. It's a tip turner. You need this, believe me. Uh, those are little things you need. Those are a lot of drills. And I have this Bunga drills, which can be obtained from Reichelt, at least in Germany, and whatever. It's a German company. Hard metal drills. Very good ones. If I can get this open with a single hand, looks quite pathetic. Uh, well, 
Alright, so now I've opened it. Great. Those are good drills, but quite expensive. This is my power supply, which can go up to 30 volts and deliver about 2.5 amps. Right? And it's short circuit protected, so you need um, a laboratory power supply to do electronics. You can't use, for example, a, an, an ATX supply or something. That, believe me, that's not a good idea. Um, this is my hot air station, which is used to diesel, mainly to diesel the SMD or chips from from any PCB. More chemicals here. Natrium hydroxide, which is used to de uh, positive develop uh, PCBs. This stuff. It's um, natrium persulfate and uh, it's used to etch PCBs. This is tinner, this is the, the, the Bungard, um, how is it called? Uh, Sur Tin. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of sprays and stuff around here uh, to use for PCBs. I don't think I can go into too much detail here. I've got here a multimeter so you can measure things it's just normal voltages you know and uh, frequencies and the resistance and that stuff um, it's got a lot of parts here um, I can make this open I, I couldn't possibly explain every part that I have but I have a lot of controllers I have um, FPGAs and CPLDs here and I have a lot of old dill dip parts just for prosperity you know well, so that's what, how I started out and I've got a lot of these parts probably never use it but that's how it is you buy a lot of parts and some of them you will probably never use a lot of power regulators darling arrays yeah, a lot of pin headers, you need those. Can never have enough of them. Well, those are capacitors, switches of all kinds and sort. A lot of standard LEDs. Well, those are coils. Dip bridges and stuff. Controllers. Oh well, doesn't open. A lot of os uh, resonators, oscillators, transistors of all kinds, also transistors, SMD parts and LEDs and stuff like that. A lot of L uh, SMD parts, well the list goes on and here I've got my sortiments which I will hopefully expand in the near future, SMD parts. We call this chicken food, Hühnerfutter in Germany. Uh, well, because the parts are so slow and then um, can be picked up by a chicken. Resistors, and those are capacitors. Uh, I have this. This thing here where I keep the more, well, the parts that I cannot. Well, which are a little out of out of place, you know, the, the special parts, bright LEDs and, and, uh, and all that stuff and you know, special crap. Don't need to go into this. Um, I have here the stuff I use for etching my PCBs and uh, well, corrosion, corrosion resistant gloves and, and my exposure machine and all that. So with the layout and all, this, this is chemicals. So I need to stop now because YouTube will recheck the video if it gets long. I have a lot of cases here, cases and, and, and uh, well, this, this is PCBs and this is a development kit and this is more PCBs and yeah, basically, basically that's about it. This was the, the well, quick run through, through all this equipment that I've got here and if you have a specific question of course and uh, I'd be happy to show you and thanks for watching and see you soon